Well, it looks like Intel has denied an RMA request for the Core i9-14900K CPU, witnessing instability issues due to use of liquid metal thermal paste. And because, I guess, this particular person used liquid metal thermal paste, which has eroded the metal and actually everything legible up here is gone, that's the reason that Intel is using for not giving this particular person, I guess, an RMA request. Correct? Not correct? Intel knows that these processors, or some of them at least, are defective. You know, and there has been a bunch of microcode patches for it. But of course, if you're using this liquid metal thermal paste, which I didn't know would go against their um, you know, warranty, and apparently it voids the CPU warranty. Uh, this is according to this article, at least. So be careful what thermal paste you are using on your processor, because if it is liquid metal thermal paste and you have a problem with your CPU, uh, you're probably not going to get your money back or get a new CPU to replace the one that does not work. This whole core, you know, i9 for the most part, but I've heard reports of people having problems with i7s as well. i9, 13,900K, uh, 14,900K processor is rampant. Uh, lots of people having all kinds of problems. This is a major, major issue. So yeah, this is this just actually doesn't look good uh, for Intel. Really, it really doesn't, despite the fact, you know, that apparently using liquid metal thermal paste will in fact erode the metal on the top of the processor. I never thought, to be honest, that a liquid metal thermal uh, paste would do this. It's, it's called um, liquid metal thermal interface material, L-M-T-I-M. And that's what they're saying here. Intel officially says that the use of LMTIM will void the CPU warranty. So I guess now we all know.